What's up, guys? This is Kefis. Welcome to Class Course, where we take a brief look at a specific class and spec from World of Warcraft and break down their core rotation. So if you're not too familiar with how to play a particular class, you've come to the right place. But if you're looking for something a little bit more advanced, like stat weights or talent builds, you might want to check out the class discords, and I will provide links to them in the description below. Survival Hunters, the class that finally decided to put down the bow and pick up the blade. In the early days of WoW, hunters could actually use melee weapons. But over time, they transitioned into being a purely ranged class, only using bows and guns. But in Legion, it was decided that one spec would return to the role of a melee hunter, and that was a survival hunter. Survival hunters have been a breath of fresh air to the hunter class, as being able to fight up close and personal alongside your pet is actually pretty fun. Playing a survival hunter is actually pretty straightforward. It's a simple game of managing your focus properly. So if you want to become a melee hunter, I'm here to help you get started with the basics. Like I said, as a survival hunter, you'll be battling alongside your faithful companion. So you'll want to start things off by using kill command on cooldown. However, as a survival hunter, kill command actually generates focus. So this is only true if you're not near or at focus cap. If that's the case, then you'll want to be using Raptor Strike to consume focus and keep yourself from hanging around focus cap. And while you're doing the focus dance between these two abilities, you'll also want to be using Wildfire Bomb on cooldown. And lastly, you have Serpent Sting, which you want to use enough to apply and maintain its dot. Now, when you're fighting multiple enemies, you want to start using Carve on cooldown. Now, this ability does use focus. So make sure that you hold off on Raptor Strike just a little bit to ensure that you have enough focus for whenever Carve comes off cooldown. This is mainly because using Carve reduces the cooldown of Wildfire Bomb by 1 second up to 5 seconds for each target that you hit. This can significantly increase the uses of Wildfire Bomb, so make sure that you're extra vigilant on using that ability on cooldown, which will greatly enhance your AoE damage. And don't forget that you can use Coordinated Assault on cooldown to greatly increase the damage of yourself and your pet for a short time. And during this time, the chance for Kill Command to have its cooldown reset is significantly increased as well. Hopefully this video has helped get you started. But keep in mind that in Battle for Azeroth, there are a lot of factors that can change up how your class is played. Talents, Azerite Armor, Essences, and even PvP talents can have a significant impact on your rotation. So if you would like more information on all of that, again, I highly recommend that you check out the class discords. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. Don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you'd like, you can support this channel on Patreon. Links to all of this can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.